And Chess.com is here with WIM Anywang. Is it WIM or is it FM Anywang? I don't really care. <laughs> Either side. Okay, well, maybe I'll start listing both of my reports. But you beat Women's Grandmaster Anna Sherevich today. Your king was in a lot of danger. When did you finally think you were in the clear, you weren't going to get mated, and you were better? I mean, after we traded into, like, the rook end game with when I was, like, up a pawn, I thought I was like, okay, okay, this is fine now. But then before that, I was like, maybe I missed something. Maybe she's still going to mate me. But... Yeah, she basically gave away all of her remaining pawns for her king to infiltrate. Was there any moment there where you thought maybe, you know, she was going to get some counterplay? I mean, like, I was kind of worried about the e-pawn, but, like, not really. So I thought I thought I was fine there. And much is being made of your brutal final schedule. You are playing the last four U.S. Women's Champions in the last four rounds. When did you first notice that? Was it right after the drawing of lots you took a look, or is it only, like, right now that you're noticing that? I think I checked after, like, round three. I was like, oh, wow, like, I actually have, like, a lot of high-rated player, like, opponents at the end. And then I was like, okay, whatever. And do you hold these women in esteem, or do you have other chess heroes? I mean, like, I respect them because they're, like, good, and they've, like, won the championship. But, like, I just, like, respect all good players, basically. Like, I don't have one specific hero. Last time we talked was a few days ago, and it was kind of this nice novelty that a teenager was leading, but, but now it's real. You have five wins and two draws, and you're leading by a full point. Do you feel like uh, kind of like uh, going up the roller coaster, things are getting more serious with every step? I mean, like, I'm trying not to think about results right now, just like trying to play my best and then see what happens. And how'd you spend the day off yesterday? Doing homework. <laughs> yeah. And you told me a couple days ago that if you continue to lead the championship, you'll keep with your regular normal schedule. Has that been happening so far? Yeah, I haven't really done anything new. Okay, but what do you think your teachers would say if they knew what position you're in right now? They'd probably still be worried that I haven't like done all my homework yet. They're like, are you done yet? Now? Can we turn it in now? When are you going to take the test? Okay, that's fine then. Whatever. I guess I like, can just take it tomorrow, the day after we get back. Well, um, as a chess teacher, I can understand, and thank you for parodying us uh, very well there. Um, and, of course, uh, this being an even-numbered year, a spot in the Olympiad is actually one of the other perks if you should go on to win. Is your schedule available in case you qualify to go to Batumi? I think I would try to go, but it's like at the beginning of school. It's like November, uh, not November, September or something. So I think I'll try, but like I might not be able to. And final question, um, a lot of uh, really strong American female teenagers that get to 22, 2300, and then they get to college, and you know we don't see them progress anymore. Is there any chance that you'll make a career out of chess in any way? I mean, like, I guess I'll think about it, but I'm not going to say, like, yes, I'm definitely going to be, like, a professional chess player, or, like, no, I'm definitely not. Well, tomorrow the big challenge begins with Grandmaster Irina Crush. Good luck, Annie Wang, leading the tournament by a full point. Thanks.